Greetings, beloved, and welcome back to a long-awaited episode of the Crocheting and Agreement podcast. Uh, my name is Melissa, and I am coming to you from the Northern Shenandoah Valley in Virginia. I crochet prayer blankets for the sick, and I stand in agreement for their complete healing through Jesus Christ. This channel is by Him, for Him, and because of Him. I hope you enjoy. Today is Friday, December the 21st, 2018. This is episode number 13, and I must deeply apologize that it has been so long since I have made a video. It's almost three months. Wow. <laughs> but I have a big surprise for you guys, as you can tell by the title of this episode, and you will completely understand why I have been so long. And yes, I am using a selfie stick right now, so kind of the uh, the tripod is not accessible at the moment, and uh, you will find out shortly. Um, this is just going to be a really quick video to update you guys and let you know that I'm still around. And yes, I am wearing a Minecraft shirt, because I love Minecraft. <laughs> it was my son's. But uh, just to update you guys to let you know all the craziness that's been going on around here. And i got to hurry up and film this too before my husband gets home. Or he'll be burping and farting and stuff. Lots of unnecessary editing. <laughs> but anyways. Um, recap. Really quick. I have gotten tons of acquisitions. They've come and gone actually. I will insert pictures right here of, I think I got pictures of most of my yarn acquisitions that I've gotten, and I will insert those pictures right here. And I have also made and sold these socks. And also these socks. They are both yoga socks, but she requested to have a heel and no toe so that she could wear them. I guess you could call them flip flop socks, toeless socks, whichever. Um, I can't remember. I think I just kind of made it up. I used a combination of two different patterns, and I just pretty much I couldn't find any patterns that I really liked that did not have the toe. You know, most of them had most most of them had just toe and heel gone. Um, I did find some with the toes gone, but um, it was either paid pattern, which is fine, which probably would have been great. I, I've never yet done that. I've seen a few I want to buy. But it, it was just, I just took a couple different ideas and put them together and she ended up loving them. The first pair were actually too small, unfortunately. But she asked me to try again, and I made it. The first one was with uh, Mandela yarn, which is the right weight, pretty much. Well, almost the right weight. It's a three. But it wasn't stretchy. So my second one, I used um, Deborah Norville Serenity Sock, and she loved it. And I ended up buying a lot more sock yarn after that, uh, which I've probably I've already shown. Uh, okay, so... Um, now I'm going to move on with the big news. I know you're, everybody's been waiting. Why have you been so long making a video? What's the big deal? What's, what's going on? Well, here you go. That's right. I'm going to be a grandma, my very first grandchild. And I found out soon after my last video posted. So I have been frantically spending the last two months making baby clothes so I'm going to I'm not even gonna bother dragging them out because they have already been washed and some are packed away in the luggage some items the clothes no the clothes are in the drawer ready for her 
Um, I'm just going to show you a little slideshow, a little video of all the things that I made. And that is why I have not been around. And I wanted to also make a quick video to let you guys know what was going on so that if I suddenly put out a video of, with a baby in it, <laughs> no one will be shocked. So I, I guess shortly I will be back to my prayer blanket making. Right now I'm focusing on baby things. And I've made a lot of stuff. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to making a lot more. I'm actually looking forward to her being here because some of the stuff I'm worried. Excuse me. I'm worried about it fitting. So once she's here and I can get measurements, that'll be awesome. So I'm going to let you guys go now. I'm pretty sure that's all I really needed to say. just wanted to show you what's been going on, uh, what I've been making, and why I've been making it, why I've been gone. Let me move a little bit this way. There. <laughs> but yeah, the, the tripod is packed away. The selfie stick is easier to get to. That's going to be going back into the suitcase as well. But this is just easier to get to. <laughs> okay, well, if I don't see you guys again before Christmas, I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful day in the Lord celebrating the birth of Jesus. Because he's the reason for the season, of course. Um, and of course, many believe it's December's not his birthday. But, you know, we celebrate Jesus every day. And we celebrate Christmas by coming together as a family and enjoying each other. And just being happy and blessed for those that are in our lives. God bless you all. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.